Hi everyone, this is Becky with Feathered Nest and I thought I would show you today how I organize my refrigerator. It's just a freestanding style refrigerator. Um, by that I mean that it moves. I've got it pulled out from the little um, cubby. Um, our other home had a built-in refrigerator. You could not move it. So that's what I mean by freestanding. I'm able to pull it in and out of this little cubby and I've got it pulled out um, a little bit but it's kind of heavy to, for me to push with one hand so um, you can see that it just slides into the little cubby that's in the wall and it's just a two door um, refrigerator, ice maker and uh, freezer drawer below so we're going to go ahead and open it and I'll show you how I organize the inside and this is um, it and I label uh, everything that goes in um, on the top shelf this is where I store condiments and I have those on a lazy season so that everything is um, easy to grab and basically anything that comes in a um, in a jar or bottle goes up there and then over here um, I have a little basket that I keep up here for um, miscellaneous items and um, they, these uh, this shelf and actually um, the shelf below it are for those type items this um, actually pulls out and makes into a full shelf unless you have something um, tall like this. I don't normally have uh, the apple juice and uh, had my grandkids this week so um, that's something that doesn't have a permanent home in my refrigerator. <clears throat> so it's on the <clears throat> miscellaneous um, shelf. And then I have a leftover shelf. We um, typically are a eat out family so I don't have uh, a lot of leftovers. Um, there's usually a lot of like leftover to-go boxes um, right here from restaurants. Um, if we have an abundance of leftovers, it can flow over here to this miscellaneous shelf right here and even up here. So um, plenty of room for uh, extra foods that I, I don't need a designated spot for. And then below, um, if you notice the baskets, these are just ordinary baskets that you can get from any department store. I did put um, the little uh, felt feet on the bottom. They're just the little circles with the sticky side on it. And um, I put those on each corner of the basket just so that when I'm sliding this in and out, it's not going to end up scratching up my glass top here. So, um, But these are just, like I said, regular little bins. And I label all of those. <clears throat> this one is, um, it's got different kinds of maybe butters and sour cream, cream cheese, those type of things that come in um, tubs. So um, that's what's in here. And uh, cottage cheese, things like that. So uh, anything that kind of comes in a tub goes in there. And then uh, this is our lunch meat bin. And um, that's kind of just where I store the different little containers of um, lunch meats. And these are cheeses. And uh, these are just the sliced cheese, uh, cheese sticks. And um, I make a lot of different um, meals with um, cream cheese, so I like to keep that on hand. So this is all cheese. <coughs> And then below there were the drawers, and they were already um, labeled when you buy the refrigerator that says fruits and vegetables, and that's all I did. I used it for exactly what they uh, intended it for, um, and I started with fruit as they did fruit, and then worked my way through to the vegetables just like they did. And this one is fruit, and then I just had these little basket dividers in it to keep um, some of the uh, you know items separated. And these are the odorous um, vegetables. So I like to keep onions or garlic cloves in here. And um, these are just one of those little um, containers that you can get like at Bed Bath & Beyond, I think, and, and some of those type places. Um, I think some of the department stores carry them too. But you can slice up an onion, put it in here, and it won't uh, smell up the entire um, refrigerator. And so I, there's, it's empty, so I, I store it here um, with the onion, and I can get to it easily. And then these are vegetables, so um, I just like, just like I do the veg, uh, fruits, I put them into little containers and, and put those in here also. Um, and then below, it came with a um, large party serving platter type um, drawer for large party platters, and uh, so I leave that empty and. Um, unless we're going to do some, you know, entertaining or holidays and 
things like that, then this drawer gets um, used up pretty quickly. And then over here, oh, I'm out of breath because I'm trying to hurry. My door is beeping on me. Um, over here is the butter, and it was, um, I believe, already labeled butter. Maybe not. Um, no, I don't see a label, but um, it's labeled butter, and I keep butter up here. And then these were marked um, by the refrigerator company, um, gallon storage. And this one um, I reserve for uh, milk, and then the one below it for tea. It's also the wider shelf, so um, it's labeled with tea. And then um, also eggs, um, if you see the label there. So that's where I store that type stuff. And then here's the other side, the other door of the refrigerator. My daughter's diabetic, um, and so I keep her insulin up here in its own little um, compartment and away from um, any of the other foods. And uh, it's labeled with her label there. And then below I have um, uh, any kind of biscuit cans, anything that comes in these little um, pop-open type cans. Um, pizza dough, breadsticks, we've had... Um, you know, several different things. These are biscuits and, and things like that. So if it comes in the little pop them open cans, it goes here. Um, it's a very shallow or, you know, thin shelf. So that's about all you can fit there. So um, that's what goes up there. And then we like to keep a few um, sodas that, um, you know, that we want to drink cold. So they go in here. It's also a very um, thin drawer. So that is it on the refrigerator. I have plenty of space, like I said, to store um, leftovers and, you know, uh, seasonal type things um, that we make over here. And then these are the designated um, spots that have everything we keep on a normal day-to-day um, -day and weekly basis. So I'm going to go ahead and shut these doors and make my refrigerator happy so it'll stop beeping. Um, and then we'll go on down to the refrigerator, I mean the freezer drawer. So actually it will start beeping again. I didn't think of that, but uh, um, and here's the freezer section. It came with one divider and it slides back and forth. I can um, change the size of the compartments down here. Um, <clears throat> on this side I have different um, items that come in bags and they're various um, type uh, items. Um, but I also label my freezer, see if I can find my labels, here we go. Um, so these are bagged items, um, frozen cheese, frozen meatballs, um, hash browns, so it's a various um, type types of bags, but if it comes in a bag, it goes over here. And then over here, I have a basket inside of this bin, I don't know if you can see it. And inside that basket are my raw meats, and um, that's labeled right here raw meats and um, those all go in this basket. Um, this can be in a bag, but it is a bag of raw um, chicken breast, so it um, goes in there. So um, as you can see, all the raw meats here. And then on the side, there's a little bit of room on the sides of the basket, and, and I just go ahead and freeze some of these um, thinner things, some, um, you know, the, the TV dinners and frozen lasagnas and some cookie dough there. So um, that's it for the main bottom drawer. And then the top drawer up here um, is uh, also labeled um, right here, so I'll kind of show you how that goes. But um, right here is where I keep orange juice um, because I have these different tubs in them. And these three tubs change items, so these are not um, labeled tubs. And um, I can't even remember what I had in this one, but um, it can be just about anything. But the orange juices always go here. Um, it's just uh, because the, I had the bin and it had a little bit of space there, so these fit perfectly here. So um, the orange juice goes here. Um, the ice packs, I'm trying to move my cord out of the way here. Um, these are ice packs that we keep frozen. They also um, heat up in the microwave, so I keep them frozen unless we need to heat them and uh, then we'll stick them in the microwave. Um, we also tend to freeze bottles of water to act as um, little ice packs and then we can also use them to drink when we're done with that, uh, done with, you know, when they've thawed. So sometimes I'll have bottles, a couple bottles of water here. And then these are just some corny dogs and some of the breakfast um, pancake sausage things here. And um, I really don't remember what I had in here, just, an, oh, I know what it was, some little, um, sausage um, egg McMuffin type things here and um, 
So these are basically kind of just little quick items that my kids can throw in the microwave. And then over here um, is the ice cream section. And it, this came, the refrigerator came with this tub. And um, that's what I keep the ice cream um, in. And these are just some frozen little popsicle type things. And um, my daughter loves her Reese's Frozen. She likes to eat them that way. So, you know, that's her type of ice cream, freezing the Reese's bar. So that is it on my uh, refrigerator and freezer. I hope that inspires you to organize your refrigerator. Just uh, put things in compartments and um, label them. And uh, I think it'll be uh, much easier to, to find things, um, you know, in your refrigerator. And when you have a designated shelf for leftovers and things like that, it's easier to check those. Um, go to, you know, if you're looking for something to eat, you go there, warm it up. Um, and to kind of check this section here to toss out old uh, leftovers. So um, it, it just makes it easier for people to know where to put things back and where you can find your items. So um, have a good day and have fun organizing your refrigerator. Bye now.